Okay. Here we are. We're playing a game called Elephant, which is a uh, indie puzzle game that comes out in one week. Uh, this is a beta key that I was given by uh, the developers uh, to check out. Uh, let's just jump right into it. I was told that this is a wordless puzzle game about language, which sounds pretty cool. Okay, apparently uh, we move around with WASDA and we enter levels with spacebar. Uh, hold any key to skip text. Aleph is the first letter of the Hebrew alphabet, and it is silent. Ooh, David was just telling us that before the stream. However, it can be combined with the nikad uh, to make a sound. Ooh, okay. Check this out. Chapter one. All right. <gasps> There's a little elephant. I love him. He's great. Ooh. That's not an elephant. We, we better butt heads. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Words upside down words. Sideways words. And then he leaves. No idea what's going on. We're sad. Look at us. Oh, shh. What's going on? We've been branded. Cool. 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 Okay. Here we are. A. I'm, I'm walking around. Okay. This this guy follows me. Um, that's cool. What's going on here? It's but Okay. It's a circle button. All right. So we push stuff around. Uh, okay. We push the symbol next to the Aleph for it to become a letter. And when it is a letter, when it is no longer silent, uh, then... Um, we're happy. Oh, there's the little dot here. So it has to be the orientation matters. Okay. The little dot on the diacritic mark uh, has to face the Aleph. So far, so pushing around blocks. Um, okay. So I guess we have to push this guy over here. And then... And then we're stuck. Um, is R for reset? R is certainly for reset. Um, hmm. Now, okay. So once these guys are a unit, they get pushed together. I can't seem to push the Aleph. If I push this out of the way, okay. So once they're connected, all I can do is move them away from each other. And then this guy blocks my path. Ah, I can push the whole thing up. Of course I can. That, that's so obvious that they move as a unit. Now that I know they move as a, okay. I mean, we have to go in order, right? Come on. Um, okay. This guy faces me. Uh, what it, ooh. Ah, yes. Okay, so the orientation of this guy changed when I stepped on this Aleph. Uh, so if I move this underneath and I step on it, the orientation will change again. Okay, we're learning things. All right, okay. All right, we can reorient the diacritic marks. E. Uh, yeah, for sure. Now, we can't move this guy. Um, we can't move this guy. We can move it downward. Um, oh, I have to move it so that it is... Okay, so the only way th that I can get... I can't move this guy in the corner. I can only turn it around to face the... Okay, all right, okay. Um, hell yeah. Let's keep going. F. We're, we're making a beeline. Uh, ooh, okay. Well, this guy's facing the right direction. Ah. Uh, as soon as I... You have to activate all of them. Ah, okay. We've learned things. Exclam. That's not the next letter in the alphabet. Uh, ooh, this guy's got more. <gasps> Is that like the final boss? Okay, we're going to take a detour around G. Let's do exclam first. Hello? Chapter two. Come on, I wasn't ready. <laughs> I want to go back. We have to go meet the bull. We'll go back. Fair enough. Okay, can I just hit? We can. We can do the bull now. Ooh, okay. So as soon as I turn around, I activate. 
Oh, that doesn't... This is just free. Oh, there's the order in the top right that I see. And for some reason, this is unacceptable. Do I have to make a word? In some way, like, how can I know which direction? Okay, realization. Uh, the bull in the cutscene at the very beginning of the worlds was trying to tell us something, right? And th it's finally relevant. So he was saying down, up, down, I think. And then down, up, down. And then was it left, right or right, left? Let's try this one. Nope. Let's try this guy and then this guy. We did it. We communicated. Yay! Okay. All right. Let's let's get a move on. We won't 100% the game or anything. Uh let's let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Um Okay. Moo. Okay, well this could be relevant the way that the last cutscene was relevant. So I got to remember I'm definitely going to have to refer to this again. All right, <laughs> the orientation of the symbols might once again matter. Okay, now what? So, ooh, what's going on here? Right, so that moves. Oh, I can move it here and then diag and then link them up like this. There we go. So not, ooh, alpha. All right, we're Greek now. Or maybe <laughs> this is lowercase Hebrew. Um. How can I move? I guess I need... Right, so... I can only move... Hmm. I can only put this guy underneath this guy, right? But how am I gonna... Because I can't move this guy. So how am I gonna orient this guy properly? Um... Hmm. I mean, I, I just don't have a lot of options for, like, what I can do. Like, as soon as I move this guy here... Okay, so if I... I can move this guy to the left or to the right. If I move him to the left, he's stuck, right? So that doesn't seem great. If I move him to the right, now I can only move him to the right or up. I mean, now he's stuck, so that still doesn't seem great. Uh, if I move him here... Like, I can't ever move him... I could move this guy here, but now how do I move him into this location? How do I do this? No. This guy's not yellow anymore, I suppose. Of course! It's so, it's so clear. Like, I can obviously do this. Gamma! All right. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. We figured it out. Now. This is an interesting one. This is an interesting one. Okay, stepping on a completed Aleph moves the... But there's... Can two... Huh. That's an interesting one. So like this, okay. This tells us that you can move Alephs uh, with other... I didn't realize that you can move Alephs with completed uh, Aleph Nikad pairs. Um, okay, so I think what I need to do is come down like this I, but if I push it down like that then I can't push it over again so that's got to be wrong um hmm what if I do this now this guy it's impossible for this guy to be at the right angle to mate with any of those guys now it's at the right angle and I can push this guy like this did the thing okay very nice 
Hell yeah. Um, can you explain this game in 20 seconds? Uh, absolutely. The game itself is pretty simple. Okay, all right. So what do we got here? Um, so we have to step on uh, the guy down there. And the only way that we can... Um, the only way that we can get there is by pushing this activated pair out of the way with another activated pair, if that makes sense. So like I can do this, uh, but that doesn't, that doesn't do what I need it to do. So actually I need to do this, then move this out of the way over here. And now I need to pair, oh geez. Hmm. This is a toughie. Cause there's no, there's nothing I can do if I pair, if I go up here, cause now there's no way. Oh wait, they're not stuck together. No, they are stuck together. So never mind. Hmm. What I would love to be able to do Wait, what happens if I just push this over? It gets activated. But now nothing. Ah, okay. So I need to change the orientation of this first. See, I would love to be able to change the orientation of this to this. Actually, no, that, that isn't even what I want to do. This game is hard. Uh, can I move this after? No, it's like stuck there forever. That's like Sokoban 101, right? Maybe attempt others. You know what? That's a good call. Let's attempt the other side levels. Let's go. Uh, well, <laughs> tragically, the letter that comes after Gamma is Delta. Um, <laughs> it's a great emote. We need, <laughs> we need a cement cry emote. Let's try Ada. Maybe. This doesn't look like it's going to teach us anything, right? Yeah, isn't the solution to this just this? No, that, that just makes it stuck. Um, I'm a dingus. Uh, that's certainly not the solution. Um, the one way we could get them to be in the right spot and like work the way that they need to work. Like I, if I push this guy here, for example, I, I need to orient them both the same way, right? How could I even go about orienting them the same way? I could, um, I could, for example, uh, orient like if I move this guy to this side uh, that's like one way that I could get both of them like this guy's oriented right so I could push him up here but now he's done and now there's no way so like I could do this to orient that guy the same way right but now I can't get him up there the only way that I can get him up there uh, is to go through here uh, which would reorient him because I have to step on this glyph, you know what I'm saying? On this Aleph? So, uh, never mind, I see the issue. Okay, okay, we're on the same page. Uh, it's, so it, listen, it usually, it takes a while for these Sokoban type games to get really difficult. And so I appreciate mechanics that can be sort of simple to understand symbolically, um, and conceptually, but lead to, uh, like difficult solving routes. Wait, no, wait, yes. All right, chat. This is how you do this. You push this guy here like that, and then you push him, and then you push this guy to push that guy. No, because now I can't retrieve him. But I can probably do the opposite, right? I can do the opposite of this. So like I can, uh, essentially I can orient this guy, uh, the way that I oriented it before. Cause then I can immediately retrieve. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. Yeah. 
Yeah, I can do that. Okay, so push this guy up here, this guy down here, this guy over here, and then do a little bit of this action, right? And then activate this guy, and then we can get this guy, and then we can get this guy. Ah, I did it. We saved Townsville. Hell yeah. Nailed it. Okay. Easy clap. Okay. All right. <laughs> now that hasn't helped this puzzle. I missed a fair bit while I was eating my shakshuka. I gotta love shakshuka, man. Shakshuka, shakshuka, technically Turkish. <laughs> I know Turks claim a lot of stuff to be Turkish, but it was, um, it's like, uh, I mean, technically it's like a uh, Maghrebi dish. So it's like Northwestern Muslim Africa, but it, I think it came about during like under Ottoman rule. My dad makes it. Is your dad Turkish? <laughs> if not, that is appropriative and problematic. Um, nope. <laughs> now that's fair. You, you've got my seal of approval. Um, I, I don't really think it's fair to say it's Turkish anyway, but. Uh, the whole section on the left side is definitely relevant to avoiding linking that. But how can you... Oh, chat, how could I have been so naive? Okay, chat, I think I figured it out. Check it out. We push this over here. Then we push it up here to avoid it being linked when we push it back over here like this. You dig? Now, we can do a little something like this. And so then, I mean, let's just activate this for shiggles. Then we push this down and over. Then push this over. Easy clap. Hell yeah, dude. Okay. No, I'm, I'm, I for one think everyone should just get along. Uh... I didn't take it badly. Okay, so we've unlocked we've unlocked the bull. Um, should we do the bull or should we move on? Let's let's get the bull out of the way, right? You know, my nickname used to be the Istanbul in college. Um, not true, but I thought it was kind of funny. Uh, ooh, okay. So we have to we have to get the right order again. Um, <laughs> we have to rewatch the cutscene, not the Constantinople. No, by that, I had outgrown that title by college. I'm so proud of myself right now. That's quite funny. Okay, hold on. We gotta look at the symbols, right? Okay, so angled that way. So the, we'll say ball orientation, uh, northwest followed by east, followed by northwest, followed by southeast, okay? Northwest, east, northwest, southeast. So we need triple northwest. So northwest, northwest. Northwest. East. And then northwest and then southeast. You know what we're doing, chat? We're gonna move on to Epsilon. The show must go on. Okay, here we are. What are we doing? Right. Okay. So there's no way that we can move this guy. Yeah? There's isn't. So what we have to do is use this guy to orient this guy. But we can't... Can't ever do that. Hold on. Okay. What we can do is... Oh. Set this guy up... Here. So that he activates this guy at an angle. Then we can use that to push this symbol... In a location that's actually accessible for these two to pair. Substantially easier. All right. Uh, this is, 
Is this Xi? Is that the Greek letter Xi? Um, hmm. What do we need? Okay, so for one, we need this guy. The only way that this guy can be paired with an Aleph is if the Aleph is here, right? How can we get an Aleph there? That might be the solution then. Chat, give me a second. Let me let me cook. If we do this, then we can push. Which one of these do I want to push? Then we can do this. Now they're stuck forever. I'm close. Hold on. Okay, check it. So we do this, and then we move this guy out of the way. And then, we get this guy here. Okay, no, I figured it out, right? Because now you get this guy up here. And then you solve the puzzle. Okay, all right, easy clap. Okay, we figured it out. I, I'm, I'm stuck on this bull. I have no idea what's going on up here. Yeah, I don't know. So, uh, we're just going to move on. Uh, we're gonna move on. Let's go to world three. Let's do it. World three, here we come. Ooh, three dots this time. Segol. All right, okay. Ooh, bulls in a row. All right. Ooh, what's going on here? They've unlocked Blink. Pretty low cooldown, apparently. Invisible when they're moving? That sure just happened, chat. Um, okay. Ooh. Portal. We got portal mechanics. All right, okay, all right. What is this? Anyone recognize the alphabet? Maybe? Is this like... Norse? Unclear. Wow. Is this Armenian? I have no idea what the script is. Um, but I would love for you guys to let me know. Okay, so now when we step on it, do we go until the next Aleph? And is it linear? These are all questions, aren't they? Okay, so let's push this over here. It looks like it no longer changes the orientation. Um, oh, now we have to port over there with this guy. Okay, okay. Hell yeah. Ooh, interesting. Interesting letters. Okay. Uh, how does this work? Oh, hold on. There is reorientation. I'm such a dingus. Chat, there's re... Okay, we still have reorientation. Duh. Okay, so... We have reorientation. Okay, and then it enables the portalage. Okay. Okay, so down here, orient this guy so I can move this guy over here. Then orient this guy here, lock this guy in, and then portal over to that guy. Looked it up, this looks Phoenician. Ah, very cool. Okay, all right. Old school. Hell yeah. Ooh. 
There is so little that we can do here. How would we ever move up to that guy? Okay, so that teaches us about, like, actions that you can do the turn that you teleport to a thing, right? Kind of? You know what I'm saying? Um, interesting, interesting. Okay, so that guy at the bottom there is a non-teleporty guy. Um, now I'm stuck, uh, which makes sense. Um, this is a non-teleporty guy. Okay. This is a teleporty guy. And this moves me directly to the Aleph, right? Okay, so now I'm stuck. Okay, okay. We're slowly learning. Hold up. Hold the phone. When we go down here and over here, now we're stuck, right? That's no bueno. And this doesn't help us either. I can move either down. I can move back up. Oh, everyone knows that I can move back up. Ah, that's a great point. But I am stuck in the sense that I can't move this thing, right? Without having access to this guy down here. Ah, I can pick it up like this. Ah, okay. Right, so okay, so I can move here, I can move back up there. Nope, did this in the wrong order. Ah, okay, hold on. I think I figured it out. I can use this guy and still have it be movable by with this series of actions. Okay, yay, all right. Okay, now to this letter, GG. Okay. All right. Ooh. What's going on here? So I can teleport in and out of that guy. Oh, but this guy on the right island will rotate. We need the Aleph on the, the... We need the round... The triple circle on the right side to be looking to the right, right? Because otherwise... When we get over to that island, we can't pair it up. There's like no way. Because there's no way for us to step on an Aleph that's to the right of it, or that's above it. So we can never get it to turn to the Aleph. So that must mean that like we never step on this guy until we have that guy to the right sorted out, right? No? Does that make sense? How can I get an Aleph up here? Like in one of these two? How can I how can I do that? I don't it doesn't seem like I can do that. So what I, the other thing that I could do is move this out of the way. Okay. What if we go over here? The idea is this. What if we do this and then we got this guy over here and then used it to try to portal over to the right island and this guy was covered up, so it's impossible for us to get to, unless we go into it from the right. Um, you know what I'm saying? Um, ah, instead of covering with that guy, okay, Shad, that's a that's a brilliant idea. <laughs> let's let's try doing it with this guy. Ooh, but it might be... Ah, we've done the thing. Now we can portal over here. Now the question is... Okay, we can orient this guy over here. Now we can go over here. I was so close. <laughs> um, 
I don't want to reorient that guy like that. Oh, but it, maybe it doesn't matter. You know what? Hold on. Let me back up to... I can do this more intelligently, right? Let me push this guy up here. Then link it like this. Then get to it like that. Okay. There we go. We did it! <laughs> Yay! Okay. Fantastic. All right. That's the, those are the first three worlds of Aliphant. Uh, we might play through the rest of this, we might not, but this is a game that's available on Steam. A link to the Steam page will be in the description below. Uh, you should absolutely check it out. It's a very cool game, very cool twist on a Sokoban. I love the aesthetic, uh, and I like the mechanics as well. I'm interested in what else this game has to, to cook up. Um, thank you so much to the devs for sending me a key. Really appreciate it. Uh, it's super interesting. Um, let's check out the...